just arrived back to Bradenton Motorsports Park for the last day of sick week. All of the racers that you see here in the pits have made it about 800 miles and raced three different days. We had one rain day to make it back here for the final day on sick week. They have to make one more pass so they can say they completed the week. And today we're gonna to find out who's leading the classes, who didn't make it, see all the drama unfold. So we're gonna be bringing that shortly. But first we're gonna go back to the road, leaving the track yesterday on our way to the drag racing museum. Had some fun along the way, so let's go to that. We'll come back here for racing. It's time to leave South Georgia Motorsports Park on our way to Don Garlitz Museum. I think it's about two and a half hours away. Most of the racers already left already. We're gonna catch up to some of them and then go party at Don Garlitz Museum. We're gonna be staying near that place at our hotel and then finishing the drive in the morning like most of the racers. We're gonna follow the Cadillacs because they said they're down to do some trailer burnout, so I need to see that. They look beautiful while I'm good. Let's hit the road and see what we find. He fell back and was like, I wonder how that's going to work at higher speed with a trailer on it. A little too fast. We're not supposed to exit here. I think this is burnout time. What's up? It looks pretty dead down here. Yeah. yeah. It looks, like, it looks like we got pretty barren over here. Not too much traffic. No. So, I think if, uh, I mean, we'll do it this way. And then that way it gives us a little turnaround to come okay. back. Okay, you want to do it here and yeah, we're yeah, going to turn around. Yeah, I'm just going to show Right here? All right. <laughs> yes! That was a good one. Look at that thick smoke. Next customer. <laughs> Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Whoopsies. There's the cop right there. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <laughs> Nothing to see. <laughs> what you doing? I don't know. I think he's just like, you guys need to get out of here. <laughs> what the f Wow. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to see one, I don't know. Apparently the cop was cool. Apparently. You want to do one? Yep. All right. <laughs> Solid distance. Woo! Yeah! The blower wine is the best part. That was solid. Best trailer burnouts I've seen this week. I think Jesse still takes the cake for my favorite in the uh, orange diesel pickup. Look at the fog out here in Georgia. Here we go, here's another one. sick week. Let's hit the road to Don Garlitz Museum. Maybe we'll find some more along the way, but we're on the interstate the rest of the way, so I think the party's going to be there. Alright, we made it 45 minutes down the road. Finally found our first customer for the, of the day. Uh, looks like they're working on a CUDA. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? I'm fine. How are you guys? Well, if you're wanting a story, you missed the best part. <laughs> the fire. Oh, so is fire, that? Then is we had a vibration, and then uh, the whole uh, water 
public. So it's a three in one special. Would yep. you like part of it? <laughs> so did you pull over because of the fire or pull because, because of the water and it tried to start it and the fire began? Oh. Yeah. And then the fire extinguisher came out. Fire, huh? and got down <laughs> the they're carburetor. Late, they're an hour <laughs> later. <laughs> We're sweeping up now. Then we had we had to dump the oil to check for stuff in the oil. And tried to clean out the carburetor, ran some water so we could run it and everything. It seems to be running all right. All right. So they originally pulled over because they had a water leak from the water pump, I believe it was. Some fitting, I believe, it was the water pump. Uh, was leaking, so they pulled over, and then for some reason, the engine bay burst into flames, and then they put the fire out with the fire extinguisher, and then the engine was running rough because fire retardant, fire extinguisher stuff, whatever it is, got into the carburetor, got down into the engine, and they cleaned that out. So now they're back to their original issue that they pulled over for, which is a water leak. We're gonna get back on the road. We'll see you in Bradenton, all right? All right, man. Thank you. See ya. Bro. Oh no, it's Shane. No. You good? Yeah, just the starter died on us. The starter died right here. Well, why do you have to start on the side of the interstate? Well, we ran out of gas. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got five gallon cell. Oh, we, was coming. we didn't think much of it. Shut it up, filled it up. Went stuck. So you got a new one in there? See you boys there soon. There soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like 40 more minutes. Yeah. See you in an hour. <laughs> Perfect. All right. See you guys. See you guys. I'm safe. Getting off on the rest stop. And what do we have here? It's going to be one car. Sound you don't have well, headphones? I, I got that. That is pause. not and doing actually, anything. You know what the funny thing is? The entire way we were watching the 1320 videos. Nice. And everything else with that. Catching up. <laughs> Catching up on My it. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, just letting it play and just listen. I mean, you got earmuffs on, so it works. It's nice. <laughs> All right, Kyle just told me to hop in, so here we go. This ain't bad. You're going to get the door for I'll me, get too? The door for, I get the door for him. So. Oh man, that's service. <laughs> Don Garlitz Automotive Museum. I think it's for dra a drag racing museum, maybe? Something like that. There's Everybody's parked in this field. It's too dark, so you can't really see. But we're gonna try to go inside and look at some badass cars. You've been there, it's That's not beer. That is a beer. Ooh, ooh. 426 Hemi in a Coronet. What? Originally ordered by the FBI. Look at this, look at this monster though. Twin turbos, Banks turbo kit on this masterpiece. Now you got a house, you should be excited about this. Look at that, look at this supercharged lawnmower. Supercharged big block lawnmower. You're never ever gonna be breaking off your grass again. No more brown tips, clean cuts. Do you know why I don't believe it? Hmm. This is a supercharged big block, right? And typically With a pool start. 
with a pull start. A pull start? Do that. Maybe don't touch it, but also... You want me to fire it up? You scared of it? <laughs> all right, we found the drag racing department. Look at all these race cars. Even Christian's impressed. Shut up. Look at this twin engine deal. Or what? All right, there is way too much stuff and all the buildings, all the rooms to get. So I just get filmed a little bit of stuff, not too much. We'll walk around, take a look at all the cars that are here, and then we're going to head to the hotel. And then we're going to, we're actually staying around here, and there's actually two and a half hour more of a drive tomorrow morning before we get to the track. Normally we drive all the way to the city that we're going to race at the next day, but today, kind of splitting it up. We're going to stay here around Don's, and then we're going to go to the track two and a half hours more tomorrow morning. We are back on the road, on our way back to Bradenton Motorsports Park where this crazy week began. Sick week, 2022, has one more day of racing and we're gonna find out who's gonna win all these classes and who's made it across the 800 or so mile trip across Florida and Georgia. It's been a wild week. We'll be to the track here shortly. Somebody bringing you something, or we're looking around. Yeah, we got a bunch of people checking. So. Oh, the wheels I gotta grab this. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. All we started out this morning. It was just a little one. We figured we'd watch it all day, but it didn't make it to the track. different sets coming for you? Hopefully. All right. We want to see Appreciate this thing finish. This is one of our favorite cars. I do too. I do too. All right, man. We'll All see right, you. Thanks. Good luck to you. Be safe. This is the best part about the drag and drive community is everybody's willing to help everybody else. We were pulled over and three of the cars that pulled over with them had no idea who he was. They'd never met him before. We're just seeing if they could help out. And apparently there's two racers that are bringing two different sets of uh, wheels and tires for them to see if they'll fit. We're literally 45 minutes from the track, so if he could just make it and break the beams, he finishes sick week. Really don't want to finish the week right here on the side of the road. We spotted a sick week right on the side of the road loading up on the trailer, unfortunately, and then we saw Clark, who torched his head yesterday, and apparently got it fixed, because he is here also trying to get things fixed. Hi. We managed to limp it off. Yeah. It died just as we were making the exit. We made We don't need to be here. We don't need to be in Florida in the middle of February either, exactly. but it's nice. Exactly. What you working on? Fuel pump. Oh, fuel pump. Okay. Give me fits. You got the head fixed. Yeah. Great. The really fixed, head fixed, now a fuel pump. So did you just find a different welder to make it work? Yeah. Beautiful. We're almost there. We'll get it. Yeah. Very close. I think 30 miles left. Yeah. We got all night to get a pass in. You got it. Good to see you. Mostly here. <laughs> no sleep, but hey, we'll be there. So you got a fuel pump? Oh yeah, I got a spare wheel. We're going to fill up there. Make sure it's not plugged up. Perfect. Yeah. As long as it's not right. Yeah. So. Alright. Cool. Good luck. See ya. We have made it back to Bradenton. I think it's been about eight, 900 miles since we left here on Monday, I believe. And any racer that makes it back here and just breaks the beams finishes sick week. And that's the biggest accomplishment really in these Dragon Drives is just finishing the week. A lot of people want to finish top three. A lot of people want to do personal best, all that stuff. But the thing you have to do to do any of that is finish. So we're going to go around the pits, see who made it. There's still some racers on the road making it here today. Racing starts in about an hour. Racing's from two to eight today. So we're going to go the pits, check in with some folks, go to some racing action here in a little bit. We have the two modified class one and two right here. 
I believe Rick is a not is a six nine zero one, and the wagon is six nine zero seven. So they are that close going into the final day of racing. You guys gonna battle it out today? We are certainly are. Look, you look at this. Look at this mess right here. Well, I, I, I saw you cut him off when he pulled up. I gave here, him a little so. inside info, and then he just came and just jacked my spot. So I said, uh -oh, we're getting off first prep. So you're 6901, and he's 6907. Is yes. that correct? Yeah, 6,000 is different. That's great. Yeah. What are we doing? Are you going to take do a safe one out the bat and then try to run no, a faster one? No, we got the hottest tune up in it right now. We're going to try to go 670s if it takes it. Okay. Uh, we haven't been able to do that this week. We've had some mechanical issues, uh, some uh, issues with misfire up in the top RPM. So we managed to pull six second passes every day, but this is ca this car is capable of going 660s. Gotcha. So we got to try to do that today. Well, throw the kitchen sink at it. Good luck. Hopefully, you retain number one. Right, thanks, Fred. All right. What's your game plan today? <laughs> You got like we got what six hey. six thousand to, to make up on this guy. What's the game I don't plan? Know, I'm not good at math. Well, <laughs> we gotta ask Greg. Well, <laughs> six nine zero one six nine zero seven is what you guys have averaged so far. Yeah, it's pretty much even. It's quite a bit of a gap behind, actually. Yeah. So it's gonna be a hard time for anybody to catch us. Right. So it's just between us, basically, on that which switch what spot, kind of. So yeah, we we just gonna. Try to go fast. Are you gonna do a nice and easy pass, and then a fast one later? Are you nope. gonna do that? Rick's doing the same thing. He's doing, fast, he's right doing fast out the bat. Good nice. luck to you. Thanks. We'll see how this. We'll see how this modified class ends up, man. Eight overall as well. What's that? We had two, three overall. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we had two, three overall as well. Well, go out and decide the whole thing. Take them down. So not only are those two cars one and two in modified class, they're also two and three overall. So there's a lot on the line today for those guys. Five yesterday, I think. driving by and they are happy right now. I'm pretty yeah. sure that locks yeah. them in for first overall with a six second average in the C4. Congrats to those guys. You did it. <laughs> you said Rick has to go a 612? Uh, I think so. Congratulations. You finished. Yeah. That is amazing. We finished. And not only finished, first overall unless a miracle happens for somebody. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Do you think that was the way it was going to go down? <laughs> no, no, not from the beginning of the week. I was thinking we were going to sit like second or third place and just uh, riding it out. It's got to feel great. Yeah, so now it's a little bit of a different feeling in my body now. <laughs> Huge moment for you guys. Yeah. Congrats to you. Congrats, Eric. Thank you, man. Very nice. <laughs> Amazing. Hell of a week. I bet. Huge moment. Stefan and the team, a lot of people behind this car are coming over from Sweden after lots of history racing Stockholm Open and other racing over in Sweden, coming over here and showing us how it's done and winning. Well, it's not official, but there has to be some miracle passes by some people to make them not be at first overall. So congrats to them. More than likely, 99% sure, first overall quickest car here at Sick Week out of 341 cars that started. Averaging somewhere in the 6-7. They might make another pass. You think go even quicker, but they also might just drink some beer and relax and enjoy the rest of the day here in Bradenton.
it to the last day, man. Yes. This is redemption right here, right? Yes. Yeah, Rocky Mountain 1.0? 1.0 last year, Rocky Mountain, we were like, it's a storybook as to we are almost in the exact same position that we were last year at Rocky Mountain Race Week, where um, this time around, uh, we are actually tied to the thousand for second place uh, on the final day, which is crazy for stick shift. Uh, so I'm super excited to be able to have that. Um, but uh, today we are gonna try to make just one hit. We got rid of the roof rack, we took some weight out of the car, um, lighten it up a little bit, make one pass just to get something to hand in, and then we got enough fuel to make as many passes until we get an eight. So that's what we're going for is an eight second pass today. That's gonna be cool. I know on day one of this event you said, I want to run nines all week and an eight, so. Yes, and I think we're like, wow, down so close, dude, wow. so yeah. close. Um, we're actually averaging nine, four, six. That's awesome. So I want to be like nine, five average all week. That's what I was hoping for. Um, anybody can rewatch it, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, well, heck, it looks like you're just about ready. I'll let yeah. you. Do some change over and we're gonna make it to the lines, man, so thanks. Yeah, appreciate I'll it. let you finish up and we'll see you up there. Thanks, bud. Good luck. Hey, congrats on making it the whole way. I appreciate that. does a bad pass oh boy there's it's, it's rough with the average yeah there is it's between me and third so I'm in second between me and third place it's one one thousand Woo! it's always a crazy field oh yeah quite a bit or you is a slim I, I didn't even look I think it's around a second so I'm pretty comfortable okay okay so as long as it goes down the track I think we'll be all right what's the game plan with the six second rat today <sighs> um get it down the track hopefully faster than yesterday and then we got another tune up ready to go to so you're gonna send a safe one and then you're gonna send a fast one yeah today. gotcha Let okay. It rip. okay yeah hopefully the track is do you have a goal for ET today or you just kind of oh I'd be ecstatic if it went six something hit 200 again, I'd be ecstatic. What's your best ET for the week? The best has been like a 698 at 205. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Good for you. Anything, anything in a 6 today you'll be happy oh, with? Oh god, yeah. Extremely. How, how, how sick we've been so far? Awesome. You've yeah, done some Dragon Drives great. before, right? Quite a few, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about to say, you've done quite a few. How, yeah. how does sick week rank for you? Uh, it's right up there. The best part about it, it's been cold up by us, you know, up north, in New York, and then come down here, and it's, uh, get to get out of that garbage, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's, a, uh, that's a real bonus. We made it here back to Bradenton, Sean. Yeah. Good to see you guys here. You're uh, sitting real pretty in your class, huh? Yeah, yeah. We're first. I think we've got a 7-0 average. So, pretty solid. I think uh, I think right behind us is, uh, don't quote me, but I think they're at a 770 average. So, okay. yeah, we're just going to go out and make a lick and walk up first and then that's the strategy. And if it uh, goes well, we'll go over the data and come back and send it. So, yeah. Well, I guess I'll let you guys finish up. It looks like you still got some stuff to do. And uh, good luck and congratulations hey, thanks, on bud. making it this far and being really high up there in first place in your class. Thanks, bud. All right. Good see to see you guys. Again. I can't complain. Everything worked out. We're here. Well, glad That's you're it. having a good time on Sick Week. You. Hopefully, you can retain that lead. Right, yeah. We'll see you later, man. Do it. All right. Thanks, Bob. Glenn Hunter pulling up right now in the six-second rat to make his last pass of Sick Week. See if he can run that.
that six. I'm guessing he's going to be somewhere in the sevens on a safety pass right now. Hopefully it's the last pass he needs. Ooh, and what a perfect car to run up against. Sean Fink also leading this lap. to do the same thing and lose a hook. <laughs> what the hell? What a style biter. <laughs> I mean, the the arrow catches just, just snapped in the front. Yeah, they are. They just snapped right they're off they're and they're still sitting and there. And it just ripped them out of the out of the body. <laughs> I don't know where my hood is. I think it's on the track somewhere. Fred, what, what was that this like? It's not the way I want to be on 13. Yeah, no guys. kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 8.53 with 8 is your average right now? Uh, it is. Sure. It is. Okay. I'm yes. telling you. Okay. Yes. 8.53 with 8, and then you got Doug Cook right behind you yes. with an 8.54. He's That's 3 thou behind me. Yeah, he's, he's not So I he's need, far. mathematically, I need anything, 5 0 anything, and I should be able to shut him out. Uh, as far as if he runs anything else, from my understanding, if I go 9 thou quicker than whatever he runs, that should be what we need. So, I mean, Good travels on the road last night. Nothing seems to be an issue. We had some really bad E85 in Gainesville. Okay. I'm sorry, Ocala last night. Right, E70 or something like oh, that. Oh, dude, it smelled like just straight regular gasoline. Oh, gotcha. I mean, on these cars, whenever you have like a hood exit, you know, the E85 vapors, they drive clear. And then with gasoline, it drives black. And oh. it just looked like it rained black all over the car and <laughs> looked like pixie dust. So okay, hopefully so got some lucky dust. This is your second Dragon Drive event ever. Correct. You're going into day five leading, and you were, you were second going into day five Correct. in drag week. 
how do you put sick week and drag week? How, how's sick week been for you? Like overall so, as an event, how's it been pretty quickly? I've had a good experience so far. Um, the way I looked at this event is because it's the first event and Tom Bailey's running it, to me it looked like an all-star race. Oh yeah, all-star game. Yeah. You got the 850 guys that are coming from Rocky Mountain, you got the 850 guys from drag week, and I knew it was going to be a cutthroat competition. Um, because I had a good drag week, it kind of put a little bit of confidence in myself. Kind of know what I'm doing. The car has been very well sorted, um, very reliable, very consistent. Um, so I figured this time around, whatever it took, I wanted to try to make the swing for it and do well. Um, and I feel like we've had a good week so far. Hopefully to finish it out today. Gotcha. That orange helmet looks pretty cool. Oh, hell yeah. So anything with an 850, 850 with anything, Correct. you should lock it up. Correct. Okay. Well, that is the goal. Good luck today. Hopefully you get that right off the bat, if not a couple tries. Oh, uh, we're going to keep swinging until we get it. Okay. Good luck, man. Thanks, sir. Hell yeah. Too quick. I'm gonna come back around for an 164. That thing's naturally aspirated. Naturally aspirated. Yeah. That's how you finish the week that's right how, there. That's how you run sevens broke. <laughs> Is it broke bad? Yeah, it's broke. Not not bad enough to not run a seven at least. Well congratulations. Thank you. Class win and two sevens this week? Two sevens. Beautiful. An eight oh two sevens and a Embarrassing run on Monday. Oh, we won't talk about that. And uh, a big win in the class, too. I think that was a pretty big spread, but. Seven tenths last time I checked. Wow. Beautiful. Time to celebrate. I, think I swear. Right. Is this what you do when you're not racing? <laughs> Some ice cream. <laughs> Is that a new PB again? Yeah. Gonna go quicker now? Hopefully. Nice. Oh, as long as it holds the tire. Maybe a seven. High seven. That turned out quite a bit then. A little bit. Nice. Hello. How we doing? What's up, Fred? So I didn't think you'd be this competitive. Not gonna lie, because last week that makes two of us. That last week you're like, I got, I guess I got to put a car together for this thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're going into the final day. You're in 235, is that right? 235. 235, yeah. and you're like three thou off of the lead right yeah, now. Yeah, somehow I've never bracket raced in my life before. But you're so. not bad at it. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It, I think I just got a good car. Gotcha. <laughs> What's the game plan today with Eldor? Um, you know, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Matt's a uh, Matt's got a pretty solid car. The first day he went like 8.50 with a 6, I think. Yeah. So if he does that, we're just done. You yeah. know what I mean? He, he did. I, I talked to him just now, and he did mention anything with 8.50 with anything. Yep. He probably has it locked He up. wins, yeah. So, you know, he's a good customer of ours, so it'll be cool <laughs> to see either way. I feel like we win either way. But there you go. Uh, if not, we'll just keep running until we get a low number, and all we can do is try and see where we go from there. All right. I get... I, like you said, I didn't expect to be here. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Me and Red were talking on the way down here. I'm like... You know, we never didn't even make a single test pass in the car, so like we didn't even know if we could run 8.5 anything, and then here we are. So pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, not not bad. mad about it. It's been a good week, and we're gonna definitely try and get you know first place. I do really want to win that orange helmet. I don't know why. I'm just like no, those obsessed things, with those things. Really do look sick. Yeah, I'm really excited. I really want to win that. So we'll see. Well, glad to see you made it back here to Bradenton on day yep. five. Yep. In El Toro. Good luck today. El Toro's a machine. We haven't turned one wrench on the whole on the car this entire week. Really? We just changed tires. I don't even know why we brought it to the trailer. It's, I don't know how this car keeps rolling as good as it rolls. Well, knock on wood or something. <laughs> I, uh, I've been saying it all week and it keeps rolling. So. Well, good luck today. All right, man. We'll see how you finish. Thank you. Yep.
139-144 for the 56. Pretty comfortable lead right now? Oh, yeah. Yes. We're like 9 1 average guys behind us are mid tens. Really? Okay. The like competition all broke. Are you going to send a nice, safe 9 1 like you have been, or are you just you're going to send it? What are we hoping for out of it? Truly, I want to get 8 7, 8 8. So I've been running the safe tune all week, and it's been actually really bad. It's been launching terrible. So this time I put the two step up higher, which I haven't been using the two step at all. I put the two step up and uh, added a little bit of retard on the timing light. So we're going to launch it as hard as I can. Hopefully get 878 out of it. And probably a pretty cool wheelie. Actually, a really good wheelie. Okay. <laughs> it's been on a good show. Okay. Well, glad to see you guys made it back. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank you. We want to see a cool pass out. It's eight something. Give me an eight something. It's going to be an eight something. All right. Have the camera going for the wheelie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> See you guys. I've seen, which you know, maybe maybe we're an influencer now. So. Yeah, there you go, there you go. And then it's minimum 3,000 miles home. And depending on if we have to detour around any weather or anything, it might be more, but it's at least 3,000 miles home. So. You, you give a whole new definition to drag and drive. Uh, well, Keith Turk might have said it best. He just said you're an idiot. And so that might that might be a closer assessment. So what's the game plan today? You just you're gonna try and run an eight. You're gonna do a safe pass and then see what it'll do. So it's still got the 877 tune in it actually. So. I'd love to go out and run an 8. Uh, 920s or better will keep me at an 8 second average. Um, I think it's like 10 seconds or something. If I ran worse than that, I would probably lose first place. Um, so if I go out there and run 920 or better, somebody better take the keys away because i got to drive this home. <laughs> <laughs> 
So um, I'm not, uh, not going to lay down and try to do a really soft one, like a 950. Uh, that's no fun. Yeah, we had to go bang some gears. All right, all right. Well, I'm glad to see you made it all the way back here to Bradenton. And reminder at home for everybody, yeah, you're not going to send it because you do have to drive it 3,000 miles yeah. home. Yeah, I got to drive it all the way home. So. Well, glad you made it. Good luck today. Thank you, Fred. Good the guy that races here all the time yeah yeah so we have to look we have to see what we're gonna do if we're gonna shoot for Rick with something or if we just gonna have to try to cover from the back it's kind of a trick situation we really just wanted one better to be safe which was this tune but the track was just really beat up when we got up there so we'll see, we'll see. That's the name of the game. We'll see you back up there, I'm sure. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Stefan Rossi and his co-pilot sitting here in the lanes about to make their last pass here and completing sick week and we on, on the first day of sick week here I'm sure they had a moment and we had a moment expecting them to go out after the crazy wreck on the top end but luckily they've joined us here they made the entire trip they've fixed the bodywork straightened it out had an issue on this on the first drive day with their ignition box getting that fixed you can find that on the second day story but they here they are here the determination perseverance to get this car here is unreal it's great to see them here the car's not looking that great right now but they'll get it ironed out one more pass for these guys and they'll we'll finish sick week
sailing now. Thank you. Got it out of your system. Congratulations on finishing yeah. the week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Another PB? We hope so. Yeah. We turned up the launch control a little bit, gave a little bit more boost up top. We're limited to the back housing on this small turbo, but we're hoping we can get it to 60 foot better, get to the eighth mile a little quicker, and hopefully something under a 950 is our goal right here. Been quicker and quicker every day, right? Yeah. That's well, impressive. We went a tenth slower at the uh, last track in Georgia. Oh, okay. But it went a 9.6, then a 9.5, and then another 9.6. So she's been really consistent. Only three passes on this new setup. Beautiful. Now accomplished the 800 mile drive. Little to no issues at all. So <laughs> couldn't ask for more. Hopefully it's the zebra back. roof. That's definitely your good luck charm yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what's doing it. I put this in there in high school. <laughs> I used to have a sub box in the back that was also zebra. That Hell yeah. There. Sweet. New PB? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One four to the 60, just like we wanted. So. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. 800 miles. Minor Mid issues. Nine second passes. Made it happen. Until a low nine second pass. Yeah, Center dude. on the last one. We didn't have any more mile an hour there, though, because that back housing's just choked, but the front half picked up good. Yeah. That's Taking two it. tenths off your PB on the last day. That's, that's yeah. epic. It's on a, still on an eBay turbo. eBay ball bearing turbo. Nice. Nothing special. It's the original setup on the car since five years ago. Wow. Much, just with the all wheel drive now. Good work, boys. Appreciate it, man. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Hey, Shane made it. Yeah. You're here. Yep. <laughs> Fixed the training this morning. Got everything all set Did up. Fix the transmission? A lot of guys are yeah, here. we were stuck in fourth gear also when you came oh, by. Oh, you told me that yeah. on the side of the road. Damn. Yeah. So, so fix the ship collector. Got new start. We're going to look for. Here we are. <laughs> a couple that are going. So happy I'm gonna put a clutch in it too because I burned it up driving all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> but we got it. It's good timing. At least you're buying a shop here. Yeah. 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 You're out here. Everybody's just trying. And I'm with my son. Yeah. This is badass. Oh, I love it. This is the best. Trial or qualifying. Type of format. There are no of us that are still answering the call to go make some runs after turning it up to see. shock right here. It's still even in the shock. Yeah, there's nothing you can do but hold on for that yeah, one. I was trying to break and keep it off the wall, but it just drove me right into it. Uh, not an easy week no. for you guys. I'm glad you made it here to Brady's the last day. Yeah. And you finished. You broke, we the, broke beam. the beam. Not how you wanted to, but, we but you finished. Yeah. I'm definitely glad I finished, but I would have liked to get a run in. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you learned a lot of this week, too. <laughs> I'm sure. Done. 
about Star and everything. Did you have a good time with Dan? Yeah, yeah it was a great it was time. Awesome to see you guys cruising yeah. together. Yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> Was it 1006? Yeah, dude, it's a freaking bracket car. One so, go past 10 0, nine's your curse. What are you gonna do? I'm pulling the back seat out of that curse. How much that thing weigh? I don't know, something. something. A lot. It weighs something. <laughs> a lot. It's gotta do something, and then I think it'll take more power down low. So maybe I'll just tell him to fire the second stage, and then it'll go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it, you, you guys have only been doing the one stage? Yeah, this it's week? only been on 350 all week. 10 -0. What? Only you're always running 350. Yeah. You gotta tell the old man he's gotta turn it up. Dude, I'm gonna. Jeez, you're you you are a half mile from your trailer. You gotta do it now. Yep, I'm telling him to turn it up. I mean, it's nice out. It's good weather. It's just a good omen. You got you gotta do a nine today. Nine today. Right here. Deal. We're gonna do it. All right. We'll talk to your dad when he gets back. But nine today. Yes, What's the plan? Are you both going back up? Uh, I'm going to hang and watch, and if he betters me, we're definitely going to We have to. What, what's the number that you need? Uh, you need an 80, you need a 82? Yeah, 82 with a 1. 82? 82? I'm not good at math. <laughs> He's now playing, you know. He's been playing ignorant all yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> playing, yeah. The guy with the six second wagon doesn't know anything about math. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go back yeah, up there? Like we, it, it, it might not have time. Maybe. We get a chance to run one more time. 
and we'd like to improve it just a little bit on the thing. But if we don't get to, hey, we're happy with what we got. You completed the and, trip. Oh, we had to complete the trip. Our done good. We had uh, one little gremlin get into our mix. So Dr. Tunamal came over, chased that out, got us all fixed nice. up. And the car itself is doing great. It really good. is. Are we, you going to join us for Rocky Mountain Race Week? Oh, of course. I mean, if we had one this coming week, I'd take it. But oh, no. yeah, we'll definitely be there for the Rocky Mountain thing. It's going to be fantastic. I'm, really, I'm already looking forward to it. I can't wait. I'll have a sleepless night waiting for it, you know. <laughs> looking thank forward you, to partying with again soon? Yes. Thank you, sir. I appreciate thank it. You, Sam. Thank you. Maybe Thanks we'll see you back up there if you yes, got time. We'll try anyway. All right. All right. We got Sam. We got my Group Garage right here. You made it. Made it. Your yep. first drag and drive driving your own car. Yep, 800 miles. But we haven't broke the beams yet. So we'll okay, yeah, you got another I, yeah. quarter mile to go and then another quarter mile. Listen, with my vehicles, things happen <laughs> quickly. So it could be a fire, I don't know. So what do you think? Uh, amazing on that. A lot of fun. Definitely going to do it again. I just heard them say there's seven events like this this year. So, there's a lot. Yeah. It's hard for us to choose. So that's going to be our issue is we can't do them all I'm trying to figure out which ones to do. So, but yeah, we're definitely going to do it. What's your average this week? I haven't even been averaging. We're uh, mid-tens probably. We just put a moon tune in it. We're, pl we're planning about a 970, something like that. Or the axle's just going to tear out of the thing right at the start. <laughs> Nice site. work. Yeah, dude, that was fun. That's exactly what you wanted. And, uh, you know, Botch the, the reaction time, but oh well. I can't turn this slip uh, in anyway. You just wanted that number. I just wanted the nine. And it's still driving. Yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and yeah. tune it up a little bit. Let's make it extra <laughs> Yeah, it runs great. It's, it's still personal, banging on all eight, no problem. There's still a lot left on this, but I just didn't want to push it. I wanted to be able to drive it on the trailer. So. What a way to end the week. I know, 973 at 140. All right, here comes, yeah. Plenty happy, especially when this thing was scheduled to go to a crusher. Yeah, that here it is yeah, he was on the, uh, the, the best cars yeah. in the Congrats, dirty Derek. south yeah. in uh, nice season work. two. Thanks, man. He brought out...
Yeah. New PB. It was PB. Yeah. New PB. I want a 9-0. I, I know, know you do. Now. <laughs> Uh, I just, I mean, we've run 9-0 before, but I, it was with uh, Drew. He was 100 pounds lighter, so we're going to be right there. I mean, if we're going to throw in Sam at 150 pounds. Might, he might. I mean, good track surface. Seven o'clock, we got one more hour to finish up sick week here in Florida. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone on our crew that's been helping all week. We got Matt, who's on the starting line, been shooting all day, all week. We've got Witty shooting photos all over the track. Fred's been doing mid track interviews, a little bit of everything. Christian up in the tower editing all day, all night, all morning. Thank you guys. Also, a big shout out to Cletus for loaning us a golf cart. And Big Hat Mafia, who's been back here, he hauled our golf cart around, hold Cletus's golf cart around all week. Couldn't have uh, couldn't have done this coverage for you guys without all of the people I just mentioned. So, big shout out to them and Tom Bailey for throwing this hugely epic event, the most badass concentration of cars in one spot for a drag and drive event to date. Can't wait to see what the future holds for these style of events. It's gonna be a wild year. Let's get back to racing. You boys got the party fully on right now. Okay, what are we doing then? Fixing the party, hopefully. Give me ET. What are we doing? My all-time goal has always been six something, so okay. let's swing for a six. Okay. How much smaller is this pulley compared to the normal pulley? How much more boost are we going to be running? We don't know. Our sensor's maxed. Oh, it's already maxed. Yes. And now you're putting a smaller pulley on top of that. Correct. Fun. All right. This is awesome. <laughs> we haven't maxed our duty cycle out on the injector, so we we got a little work to go yet. What's the best ET on the car, period? 732, I think, uh, 193. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, buddy. Hell yeah.
So a very scary moment for Aiden down there on the top end. It looked like he was a little bit out of the groove on the left and right at the scoreboards. The car went hard right, flipped on its roof, hit the wall. We just got word that he is safe down there and is fine, luckily. The car is not, unfortunately, but uh, he'll be racing another day. Thank God that he's all right. You haven't had enough yet? Oh, uh, not yet. Now he's just spicy too. Oh, really? Yeah. You told me the other day you were hoping to run a number. What do you think it'll do? Uh, we need that between the spicy tune and the regular tune. A 640. 40? Yeah. That'd be nice. 640, 225 or something. Hell yeah. And the weather's perfect for it. I yeah. mean, you're not going to get much we better. You don't want to go home to Sweden and uh, just sit there for a half a year <laughs> without knowing how fast it can be. So we're giving it a try. But probably we just need like 10, 10 or more rounds to creep up on it. So we've made a huge leap now. Maybe it goes, maybe it don't. Yeah. We have, have At least you'll know. We have to try it. Beautiful. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. second to third gear into high gear and uh, it didn't do that this run either so it was just ah. popping on the rev limiter for a half a second and I had to come out of the throttle on the high end but it was a personal with all that happening you still want a 50 yeah <laughs> 653 it's a wow. personal best it was 10 years ago so the personal best on a 18 it was really slow 60 foot and 109 but it's so we can't really slow <laughs> yeah, I mean, last year at Drag Week we were doing like 103 or 104. Wow. So if you can uh, get that part together again, it will be uh, holding some ass. You had one hell of a week, that's for sure. Yeah. Congrats on a new PB. Yeah, thank Go you. drink some beer from the trailer. Yeah. Time to celebrate. Good. <laughs>
That's a huge bonus right there. The car's still running. Underwater. Test the rope. Neither. What? Neither no, of them. Can't back it up. No. Hey, can you do a hard reset? Push two of the, the both buttons in. Yeah, hold it. Will it not move at all? Well, I gotta get you off the start line. It's calling Elon. Judge just pulled up here. He was gonna race the other plaid and did a rolling burnout and now he's stuck here. He can't get the car into reverse. This thing's, this thing's slick underneath. There's nothing there. It's got a whole body pan. There's nothing to hook to. We're going to run the final three cars in that lane. He can sit here. All right, yeah. Final two. All right, well, we're going to run the final three cars and Chet's just going to have to sit here. starting 260 270 some cars finishing big thank you to tom bailey for putting on this event if you haven't checked out sick the mag online check them out thank you to my crew thank you to all the racers coming out here we had one hell of a variety of cars here i hope you guys really enjoyed it what was your favorite car here at sick week i'm curious mine was personally the wagon but that's going to do it from here at Bradenton, florida make sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell so you know right when we publish videos we'll catch you guys next time